Welcome back to the channel. I'm Billy D, and this is, of course, Done Different. And today, before I get into anything else, I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Or should I say, chickens. Basically, it boils down to this. I like chickens. I like poultry, ducks, raising them, hatching them. My wife enjoys it. It's something we do together. And I post it on YouTube. And it gets little to no views. So if you're watching this video, and yes, if I clickbaited you into clicking on this video, I apologize. But I would like people to see what it is that we do when it comes to chickens. And in particular, hatching, selling, selling eggs, that kind of stuff. I want to get more into that with you guys. So do me a favor. If you like chicken content, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And then in the comment section, tell me what it is that you like about chickens, about raising chickens, or what you hope to learn about raising chickens and maybe making a little money on the side. I'm going to be honest with you. You're never going to make enough money from chickens unless you have a huge operation, a large commercial operation. You're not going to make enough money to do any more than break even most of the time. But it's still worth it to provide other people with fresh eggs and hatching eggs and hatchlings like we have here and bring in a little side income to help pay for the feed and the other things you need to take care of your chickens. Well, so far we have 13 of the silky satin mixes hatched. And we've got number 14 about to come out of its shell. No, not super focused. It's kind of hard through this plastic top on this incubator. Mm, it doesn't help when you have the other babies getting in the way. Oh, but they're cute. Oh, sounds like I'm gonna help. Oh, there they come. It's really hard to see, sorry about that. Well, they're completely out, but... Oh, there we go. And of course you guys can barely see. But you can see all the others. And here in just a minute, when we transfer them over, we'll get you some better footage of them. Start grabbing them and dipping beets. Excuse me. I'll hold it. I haven't been counting, but we have 15, right? Yeah. yeah. 15. Yeah, because there's only one egg that didn't have. Yeah. yeah, 15. Wow, that's... So I did the math. That's 93.75%. So basically 94% hatch rate. That is super high. That is... 
testament to our roosters and the incubator. I'm gonna candle this sucker. All right, we'll do that in a second. The one that didn't hatch. Yeah. It's so warm, they're not getting under the plate. They're kind of around the edges of it. That's fine. Yeah, it's a little... That's really hot. We'll get it regulated. Better to be a little too warm than not warm enough. I mean, within reason, of course. All right, you, the wet one, you need to be further back. There's definitely, like, if that was a developed chick, yeah, that's 100% yolk. I can tell from the camera. I don't know what it looks like over there, but it, there's no, if there was any development, that'd all be dark. There's no development. It's just straight up yolk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So in today's video, we're going to talk about our silkies and satins that we just hatched out and the new products that we have gotten to make our lives easier when it comes to raising the chicks. So the first thing is incubators. We have used three different incubators. The most popular I think is called Nurturite. We've used that one. We've used this um, styrofoam one. I don't remember the name of it. And then this new one that we got off of Amazon, uh, fairly inexpensive, small, we did 16 silky eggs, and that is absolutely the max that you can put in this incubator. So this would be really good for somebody that's just experimenting with getting into it, or just want to raise a few to sell or to keep, or a laying flock for eggs for your food. Like, you know, you could get probably 12 or so pretty large uh, eggs in there, uh, hopefully getting some hens and whatnot. Or if you even want to do a breeding flock or a meat flock, you could do a small flock in this one. But if you're trying to get bigger like we are, we're gonna be using multiple incubators like this big one in addition to this small one, and maybe even pick up another one in the future. I'll be doing a whole batch of meat birds here coming up soon after we process the ones that we have right now, which I will hope to do video on. Don't know how much I'll be able to show since YouTube doesn't like that kind of stuff. So. 21 days ago, we started a silky batch specifically with the intent on selling all of these silky. So if you're watching this video and you're watching it right after it came out, reach out to me at my Facebook page here, Done Different. There will be a post that's up right now when this video goes live saying that we've got silkies for sale, also saying that we have hatching eggs for sale as well as eggs for you to consume as well as duck eggs, not just chicken eggs. We have duck eggs as well. If you're interested in that, Facebook, Instagram, make sure and go to this post where I'm talking about selling these items and comment below if you want any. I can ship eggs to consume and I can ship eggs for hatching. In terms of shipping the chicks live, I'm not gonna mess with that. So if you're local in Oklahoma City or the Oklahoma City area, then absolutely hit me up. I can deliver, you can come pick them up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the process of us hatching these out. I didn't get a whole lot on camera this time. There are multiple videos if you wanna go watch those in the chicken playlist here on the Done Different YouTube channel. Lots of different videos for you guys to check out. Everything from building different coops to hatching eggs out to taking care of the flock. So make sure you check that playlist out. So let's go ahead and take a look at these silkies that we just hatched out. Oh, they are under the heat pad or whatever you want to call this thing. This is one of those items we got from Amazon as well. First time we're using it, so it seems like it's working just fine. It's actually hot to the touch. I don't think it gets above 140, so it's not going to burn anybody. Uh, but it will definitely keep them warm and alive. 
And we also got these, uh, these rent -a -coop feeder and water. I had to put them in here. I hung them originally on the door and that didn't work because it was too high for them to reach because they're so tiny because they're bantams. These are bantam silky and satins. So I had to put the water directly on and then dig down the food and put it so that it's level so they can get to it. And yes, eventually they're gonna be kicking, bedding up and everything. But once they start doing that and they get big enough, then we'll hang it back on the door. We'll be able to get to it from there and won't kick a bunch of stuff into the water and the food. So this is the incubator that we got unplugged and turned off and yes it is very gross because we did just have a full hatch so we got lots of the down feathers from the chickens uh in there that makes it almost look like mold but it's not but we're gonna clean that out and then start another batch of meat birds in this and in the big incubator and again if you haven't seen the full from the beginning all the way to the end hatching videos i have several out there on the channel check those out so let's see if we can coax these little guys out here you guys want to come see you guys want to come see the world they were actually just out pecking around let's grab one of them oh oh there they come here you go there you go oh yeah such a sweet little bird so by the way, there are 15 of these. I'll be charging $5 a piece. So again, reach out to me in the comments on Facebook or on Instagram of the post about me putting these up for sale and I will message you and we'll go from there. $5 a piece for these little guys. Again, they're straight run. We haven't sexed them or anything. Not sure that that would be very accurate anyway. So here's one of the black ones. Oh, and by the way, let's go ahead and throw the parents up on the screens to show you what they look like full grown. There are four. There are two hens. First, there is Afro. That's the first hen. And she is the one that probably produced most of the black ones. The white ones, that hen is going to be Snowball. And then we have a rooster who is lefty, satin, very beautiful goldish color over black. And then the all black silky pidge or pigeon who is a little rooster that thinks he's the size of a dinosaur and absolutely has an attitude. But still a nice chicken to have and uh, very sweet to me and hillary all right guys that's going to do it for this video again if you're interested in the silky hatchlings or silky hatching eggs or all the different other kinds of chickens we have which are a ton of different breeds um we're going to do meat birds and laying hens and all sorts of different stuff if you're interested in any of that chickens ducks hatching eggs of both silkies reach out on that Facebook post or that Instagram post, and I will message you and we'll get that taken care of. Again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment below. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed because that's how this video gets out to everybody. Again, thank you so much for watching. Billy D, chicken in on out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.